What's up everybody? Welcome to the video. Today we're in the 2018 Mazda CX-5 Grand Touring. Oh, I'm excited, right? 2018, what a great year for this vehicle. Not a whole lot of changes. I don't think there's any changes on it, but that's okay. Mazda doesn't need to change anything on this car right now. They've done a great job with it. It's quieter on the inside. I mean, there's a lot of stuff to talk about. And right now I'm cruising down a uh, industrial business park, trying to find a cool spot to get some shots to this car for the video, so stay tuned. So it's definitely raining right now. I got you know rain on the camera, on the lens, the car's wet, it's windy right now. But what I'm gonna show you today is this Mazda CX-5, rain or shine, really. That's how dedicated I am to getting this content out here for y'all to see. So anyways, we'll do the best we can. If the rain starts picking up really heavy, we'll have to slow down and, uh, and do some stuff on the interior of the car. But I really wanna show you this vehicle. And uh, anyways, let's turn the camera around and take a look at the CX-5. Grand Touring. So what I can tell you, rain or shine, it definitely is good looking. It really is. Its competitors are the Mazda CX-9 in a sense because people were looking at those versus this and also the Volkswagen Tiguan, which we've done a ton of stuff on that. But you know, this car definitely deserves a lot more than what I've been doing lately. So I really want to show it to you. And uh, yeah, it's raining. <laughs> but um, anyways, if we can work with the lens here, getting all wet, we'll do it. So some of the things I like about the CX-9 is first, or the CX-5 is the wheels. They're really sporty looking, they are. They got a nice uh, gunmetal finish with a machine face on there. And then the Toyo tires look good and those fender flares are looking pretty sweet. Did you know that the smaller vehicle like this is the CX-3, won a lot of awards for off-road? It really did. And uh, you can get a CX-5 with all-wheel drive, which I'm pretty sure is the same exact all-wheel drive system that the CX-3 has on it. So you can have a little fun in the dirt and gravel and mud and on hilly areas and like that with the CX-5. You can have fun with it, okay? So uh, I don't have a whole lot of places in Charleston to do filming with vehicles like this uphill and like that, but we're doing the best we can on this little gravel area here and uh, it drives pretty good. It does have dual exhaust in the back, and it's a good looking car. I can't tell you how many times I can say that. It really is a good looking car. The headlights look good, the taillights look great, you got Skyactiv technology, dual exhaust in the back. It's gonna have a ton of room back here as well. Uh, Mazda is pretty smart. They said, you know, we're not gonna put a whole lot of extra money into a third row seat on this vehicle. Volkswagen did the opposite. They put a third row in the back of the Tiguan. I was at the Honda store a few nights ago letting the sales guys look at the Tiguan and that's actually something they said. They said, you know, this car just doesn't really need a third row in the back. It's so tight. What's your thought on that, people? What do you think? So right now I'm six foot tall. As you can tell, this is definitely pretty low. I would really, there's good chances I would bump my head on that while trying to get to the back. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and move this in position and hold this down. You'll hear it beep just like we did, and now it's pretty much locked in position right there. So every time I open the trunk, it'll go all the way up, just like that. Pretty nice. Um, in the back though, again, like I said, a lot of room. It's really a, plenty of space back here to get whatever you need to get into the vehicle. You also have, uh, you know, back seats. They're not just a 60-40 back seat split. As you can see here, each little individual seat can be folded down, which is nice. And I like how just the center one can fold down as well. Let's clean our lens off now that the rain has kind of slowed down. So another cool little feature, my lens isn't looking too much better everybody, but hopefully you can understand and see what we're dealing with. Um, if you want to be able to fold down just that center seat there, if you notice here, there's one little latch here and another one there. Now I'm assuming that this little latch does that little seat. And it does. And look how nice that was. Just pull it, drops right down. You want to do this side, same thing. Drops down. Doesn't drop down all the way because the seat belt's kind of holding us back. And then this side, 
same type of scenario but that seat over there is a little too far back so it doesn't go all the way down but anyways hit the button drops that right on back down for us pretty nice ground clearance is good on the bottom got plenty of room down there and even got a tiny little mud flap right there all right everybody the rain's starting to come down a little harder so we're going to start moving things inside but i'm um, definitely hang tight on the channel here or on facebook with stokes mazda we'll definitely be doing a lot more on this car in the next couple days um, a feature i want to point out real quick if you didn't know about this this center seat in the rear just like the mazda cx9 that i reviewed before this earlier you have two usb ports right in there can you see that? Sure you can. So I like that. I like that there's two USB ports there. I like how there's a little notch right in there to put things, cup holders are good, right? Rear air vents in the back. Um, you know, a lot of cars nowadays will have your USB ports somewhere right in here. I think it's nicer to have it right there. When you know, when you're sitting in the back or your kids are in the back, they can just plug it right in and you don't have cords going all through the middle and things like that. The, uh, the fit and finish is great on the Mazda. Also, I can tell you, you know, your leather interior, it's real leather. Our Tiguan is going to pretty much come with leatherette unless you go up to like a SEL premium, something like that. Um, one of our subscribers on the channel, she's a great lady, and she really gives me some good feedback when reviewing these cars. You know, she has said that really for 2017 and 18, what's great about this vehicle is how quiet it is in the cabin. You don't hear as much road noise, and uh, you know, she was saying that that the uh, let's take a look real quick that the rubber here is thicker. So that makes a big difference. You know, you never would think this kind of seals and things like that around doors is going to make that much of a uh, difference on, on interior wind noise and sounds from the outside. But just having thicker rubber there, it makes a big difference. Also right around here. And something about the wheel wells in the car. I thought I read that it was carpeted in there, but I'm not seeing that on this particular one. Again, this is just a Grand Touring. That's just plastic in there. But there's lots of different reasons why an interior can be a lot quieter on a car when driving it. All right, everybody, while it's raining, this would be a good time to test out our, uh, our wipers on the front windshield. And uh, so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Um, as you can see, pretty much this little section right here is where you control your wipers. And uh, let's go ahead and check them out, see how they do on that window. Oh yeah, doing a good job. So wipers really clean off that window very nicely. Um, you got a back, back window back there, if we can see that in our camera. Let's see if we can get zoomed in. There we go. Let's see how that works. Oh, we got a little, yeah, there we go. A little, little window action in the back. As you can see right on here, it says rear. You can just click it like that, and that will do your back wiper just by clicking it forward. And there's different speeds on there, and you can get the window washer fluid as you just saw. Lots of different speeds on this one. Um, I don't, let's see, intermittent, uh, mist, all that good stuff. Yeah, I don't see a sensor though set up in here, so when it rains, it just automatically cuts on. Uh, stereo system do have a Bose in here, which is nice. The Mazda has made this screen a little bit shorter, if you can notice that. It's the same for 2017 and 2018. 2016 different body style had a lot bigger screen in here. Um, I kind of like the screens that are right in this area, but at least it's not too big right there, so not bad. Um, you can get it, I believe, with a heads-up display. I don't think so on this one, though. I know our CX-9 has heads-up display. The leather's nice, how it's kind of wrapped up and stitched onto the uh, onto the door panel. Looks pretty good. Fit and finish is nice. No paddle shifters in here on this one. I like this black in here, how it's nice and shiny. I'm not sure how that will do five years from now. You know, it could get a lot of scratches on it and things, but as a new car, it looks great. And especially with the silver trim, you got different modes here, sport mode and um, all that good stuff. You got a little LCD screen right there. Looks like you got your, uh, you know, your lane mitigation or uh, adaptive cruise control. You got blind spot monitoring system on here. So a lot of great safety features on the CX-5. All right, everybody, we did kind of what we could do with the Mazda today while it's raining. Try to get a few cool shots for you. But um, anyways, great car. Can't I don't really have too many complaints about the Mazda. I think my most favorite two 
CUV vehicles right now is the Mazda CX-5 and the VW uh, Tiguan. Um, both have, you know, some have some features that the other don't, uh, the other one doesn't, things like that. So that's, uh, you know, that's understandable. But anyways, both great cars. If you're interested in buying a CX-5 and you live in the Carolinas, go down and see my friends at Stokes Mazda. And stay tuned, we're getting ready to start a lot of different cool stuff we're gonna be doing video-wise with the Mazda store in October. And uh, I'd love for you to be there with us. So thanks again, everybody. Have a great day. I'll see you soon.